What makes the voice of the cello the voice of the cello? Hi, I'm Olivia Konsterdine, and this is Bernard the Cello. Let's take a look at this question from some different angles. This whole conversation falls into the realm of acoustics. Sound, by definition, is a wave that travels through a medium, carrying energy from one place to another. Sound waves have the key properties of frequency and amplitude. The simplest note is a smooth sinusoidal wave. It sounds like this. However, notes produced on a cello are composed of complex waveforms, or waves that contain multiple harmonics. It's best to explain harmonics through demonstration. Take a single string and bow it. This note is called the fundamental tone, or the first harmonic. Now, divide the string in half and play it again. This is the second harmonic. Divide the string in thirds to get the third harmonic, then fourths, and so on. Each note produced by division of the string is a harmonic. You actually hear all of these notes when the open string is played. The string is vibrating along its entire length, producing the fundamental tone. At the same time, it's also vibrating in sections, in halves, in thirds, and so on, and producing those other harmonics we just heard. All these harmonic frequencies combine to form a complex musical waveform, and they play an important role in timbre. Timbre refers to tone quality and is what allows us to differentiate between an A played on the piano and the same note played on the cello. Timbre is largely determined by the shape of the waveform, which describes the specific harmonics in the present tone. Brass and woodwind instruments tend to produce odd-numbered harmonics, while cello and the rest of the strings family produce tones with all the harmonics built in. Odd harmonics produce square and triangular waveforms, while odd and even harmonics produce sawtooth-like waves. So, the rich harmonic content contributes greatly to the sawtooth-shaped waves of the cello. Playing the cello is literally the giving, the sharing of energy. That energy that's carried in those sound waves comes from the musician. I think that the shape of the voice of the cello is found in that sawtooth waveform. But the substance of the voice, that's found in the heart of the musician. Thank you for watching.